Hi, Ranbi. Uh, congratulations on the new show. Thank you, Arko. Um, family too. And uh, of course, food is a family affair, especially in a place like India, where we have such large families. Uh, what are the things that, as an accomplished chef, did you learn something new with this show? The, yeah, actually, you know, see what happens is after a point in time, uh, <coughs> you tend to sort of go subsurface into your into your medium. You know, I'd, I'd like to think I'm at that stage where I, I'd like to go a little subsurface and try to figure out the why's in the house and not just the what's. Uh, so it was not just the recipe that I was after uh, from these families. It was also understanding the genesis of the recipe. And, uh, and 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 the the connection to the recipe and how it sort of impacts the family as a unit, uh, you know, whether we like it or not. Um, um, and I, I've lived in the U.S. for the longest, and I realized that while uh, uh, while we take the family as a unit for granted in India, it is a thing to be treasured when you when you when you go out of India, right? Uh, it's it's a unit that holds our society together, that holds our culture together, that that holds our traditions together, and it does that through these further smaller units of traditions, rituals, recipes. You know, and that for me was the exciting part, trying to understand this unit of family through this subunit of a singular recipe, if that makes sense. So, of course, we are uh, advertising and marketing magazine. We'll delve a little bit into that. Sure. Because you're, you're a brand ambassador for quite a few brands. Uh, so, I was wondering, what, what do you look for in a brand when you're trying to associate with it? What makes you fall in love with a brand? I think like-mindedness is the first thing that you sort of um, uh, that you that you look for. Uh, what really attracts me is um, the intensity of passion that you share towards an idea. In this case, you know, when when Epic came to me with the idea, the 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 commitment and the passion that they had towards the subject, uh, you know, is it it's it's that's like a real deal maker or breaker per se. Uh, you know, and, and it's the same for the other brand. If somebody is launching a, a, a mithai, oh. you know, their connection and what they feel towards the idea, the genesis and the broad thought of mithai uh, is, is where you would connect on. And after that, I think every, everything becomes easy, you know, because then it's... Uh, you share the passion. Yeah, you share the passion and the rest of it then gets taken care of. Sure. Yeah, but often you see certain brands, you know, breaking that ethical barrier in advertising, and uh, there are certain standards laid out by ASCII or Ministry of Broadcast. Uh, so, as a brand endorser and a celebrity that is associating with the brand, do you think uh, endorsers should also have a say and put the brand on the right path? But endorsers do have a say. Have a say. I think it's it's. Um, um, so I can I can speak from a perspective of a chef endorsing a food brand. You know, uh, you are a subject. Ma you are also a subject matter expert, and not just a pretty face in the pack. Absolutely. You know, um, and in this case, the brand is in with you because you're not just that pretty face, and hence, you usually your opinions and point of views are usually respected, and mostly, uh, uh, red flags that you raise um, are discussed and resolved. Um, so, you know, food is of course you know best. Food is an emotional thing. Uh, it reminds certain smell of it, it reminds us of uh, food, uh, our mother's cooked, our grandmother's cooked, certain places we've been to. Do you think advertisements on food today, they harp on the face value or the obvious facts and don't really indulge in the human emotions? They don't, they are quick at it, but they don't show the human emotions attached to food. Mm. You know, so I've been judging the, uh, the Exchange for Media Awards uh, for a while now and I've gone through a lot of these campaigns that brands have done and I'm specifically interested in uh, in the in the food campaign that campaigns that go around food mm. um, you know I'd say there's a fair split between people trying to evoke uh, an emotion that you inherently associate with food and uh, just gesticulating the benefits or the top shelf uh, um, conversations about food. I think there's a fair mix now. Um, 
it also depends on the need to be fair to a brand it also depends on the nature of the campaign if it's a longish campaign you can evoke an emotion sustain an emotion if it is if it is uh, mm, uh, carpet bombing you with an ad in the ipl season your choice is limited right and i think that uh, also determines a lot of how how, how campaigns are done mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i mean i i think it's different strokes for different folks but it's not a neglected aspect in today's um advertising era either by the agencies or by the brands okay um you know today there's a lot of conversation around food and food is changing in, in a way that uh, because of the gen z target audience of brands there are a lot of new brands coming up uh, who are health conscious and they are uh, trying to cater to the gen z uh, you think the traditional brands are at a disadvantage here uh, and they are toppling traditional brands who are only focused on taste maybe mm -hmm. No, I don't know. I think I think it's it's. I think we're trying to put too many things in too many boxes at, at the same time. Um, I think the newer generation uh, has a lot of respect of their origins, has a lot of respect for nostalgia. The newer generation is rooted in tradition. They will not discard or disregard something because it doesn't belong to a certain era or a certain generation. Uh, they are as emotionally connected and as wise. um as as any other generation i think it will be unfair for us to say you know the the new kids are sort of letting the old things go it's not true um uh, is it giving a reason enough for the older brands to rethink their grand projection absolutely yes do do they need to be relevant in terms of projection absolutely yes uh do they need to be relevant in terms of distribution absolutely but it's more on the brands and less on the 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 gen z as we like to call it finally talking about brands ranveer brown is a brand in himself of course uh, and you've managed to do exceedingly well uh, throughout your career uh, but when you are putting out your content and you're on youtube and you're on various ottts and television uh, who is who do you have in mind when you're putting out your content uh, your target audience I think I, I when I you know fortunately or unfortunately what has happened is uh, you're not speaking to a lot of people at the same time anymore right yeah, yeah. I mean uh, Epicon you know uh, is going to be watched by most people either on a smart TV or on or on the phone right so you're usually speaking to one person yeah. or maybe two people at the same time uh, now that is very very different you really can't talk to a bunch of people right now you really need to strip your conversation down to bare emotions that connect with almost everybody and the only way to do that is be yourself right and that's what i've been able to understand um in this in this space where the whole paradigm of content changes every minute uh, if not every day just be yourself and 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 people will find a way to connect you yeah Finally, the last question because I've heard your love for Bengali food. All nobody's a favorite Bengali dish. Yeah, talking about Bengali food, um, for everybody who loves Bengali food, do watch the family table because there's this amazing recipe. Um, this is um, fish head cooked in moong dal. Oh, <laughs> and then the moong was actually the chota wala moong. Chota. Yeah, yeah. Shona moong. it is outstanding you know uh, no no i think we must talk about the show i think it's it's you've got to watch it it's an outstanding show this is for this is for both brands and people who are going to watch it uh, we need to support content like this we need to support uh, content that 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 celebrates families family values and family recipes whether you're a brand or you're an individual watching this uh, do watch it you will see merit in the show uh i'm not from the channel sales team but yeah. still saying it as purely as somebody who loves food and who believes in the power of family holding our traditions and our recipes together this show needs support and let's support it in 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 so many ways possible because it's it's just important thank you so much ranveer we're looking forward to your show you can never have enough of uh, ranveer bar on tv that's very kind of you thank, thank you thanks sir